What's up guys, Cloudy here, checking in from the America server and this is gonna be a quick video about the new King's Raid client made specifically for emulators by Vespa. Now if you have seen the video about the patch notes on Tuesday, they have mentioned that they were working on this but couldn't release it together with the patch, uh, but today it was posted by GM Lacrack. Um, here on plug, I will link the post itself into the video description so you guys can go there directly. Basically what they say that they have seen an abnormally high amount of crashes and um, disconnects um, when people were playing on emulators or app players as they call them. And so to fix those issues they decided to make a separate client which however you can download as an APK file instead of downloading from the Play Store itself. So this is for Android, um, not, um, well you don't use emulators on Mac devices anyway I guess. Uh, so yeah, they have made the APK file and you can just download it directly from their link and then install it onto your emulator. I have tried um, Bluestacks with it which wasn't even starting the game for me before and it seems to be working just fine so far. I haven't tested it too much yet, but um, I have seen the comments and people are saying that this is working fine for them or a lot better or smoother than it was before. So who knows, maybe they did fix the issues, at least with these. Um, now you can, you guys can get the link uh, from the post that I am gonna put into the description and I really urge you not to try and Google and download it from other sites, just go directly uh, from the Vespa post because, you know, if you are taking it from another source you might get some malware, a virus, a keylogger or whatever or it might be changed in a way that will come up as cheating on Vespa's end and you can get banned, so I really urge you to just go with the uh, uh, the version provided by Vespa. Now they, they describe how to how to install, it's fairly simple, if you have installed APKs then you already know what to do. Basically they say that you should actually delete the already existing installation from your app player, so yeah that's like oh god I need to delete the game again. But anyway once you have deleted it, you just open a browser, put in the link, it's already bringing it up for me. When you push the, uh, press this, then it will offer you to download it. Now, of course, I have already downloaded it, so I don't need to do it again. Once it's done, you will just need to open the file itself and it installs. With some, some uh, you can also opt to, to download it directly on your computer and then just use the APK function of, of the client that you are using. This can differ by client, for instance. On Moomoo there is an option here which will load your file system by Bluestacks has it some, I'm not even sure which icon it was, I haven't used this in a while. But yeah, all of them have basically a separate uh, option, but if you just download the file and open it, it will start to install. It should ask you whether you want to install or not. You can click OK on that one. Now Vespa also warns that uh, after installing this new version, you might get uh, fail errors when you are trying to proceed with a payment. So like when you're trying to pay real money in the, in the item shop or anything. And they say that you will receive after items normally after relogging into the game. Now this sounds pretty bad to me. Like how? What did they do? Did they manage to break the shop part? Um, so yeah, they warn that it's it's in your best interest if you do payments uh, via, via mobile devices. Also, you cannot use this APK on a mobile device. This is strictly for emulators or app players. Um, and then they point out that if they will analyze the data for these clients and if they see it necessary then they will keep providing separate clients for each update. Um, this is a bit messy, it was so much easier just downloading it from the Play Store, but if it makes gameplay better then I'm all for it. So yeah, if, if this really works um, then I'm, I'm really gonna be happy about it because some of these these crashes have been really annoying lately. Um, so yeah, who knows, maybe if they can get around to it then, then this will be a good thing. Now they, they also state that of course the optimizing and the error fixing is a continuous process and they are sorry that it took them so long, but they hope that they, they can get back to a more stable environment. So that's it guys. 
I'm gonna be testing this new version on my BlueStacks install, maybe even if it works here well, then maybe even try it on Moomoo. See which one works better. I think BlueStacks is a little bit more um, greedy with the resources, using up more of them, but uh, we'll see. Maybe if, if one of them is more stable than the other, then I will keep that one. I haven't decided on that yet. Or maybe I will just keep it for my other game. One, one for this, one for the other. I haven't decided on that yet. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know if you are interested. Until then, feel free to write it in the comments. Also to hit a like or even subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Cloudy out. Bye bye.